Hey guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel and to this month end empties um, video for April 2023. <clears throat> so I know I am a bit late recording this, but I've been away and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So um, let me just mute my speaker and I will get on with it. So I will try and do this. Um, in some form of order. Uh, let's look. Yeah, I think I'll try and do non wax followed by wax. Just because there's not a lot of non wax products, but enough just to have a quick shout out. So, as you all know, I absolutely love my wash whiffs. I think Fluffy Fleece is one of my favourites. Such a nice one. Really hope they bring it back this year. Mm, love it. So finished off a fluffy fleece. I do have another couple of tubs of this thankfully. Then on similar vein I tried the Tesco Golden Topaz in wash fragrance boosters um, and they were okay. I wasn't, I really liked the scent but and it's a big but these almost had a waxy consistency and what I found <coughs> was washer whiffs dissolve really really quickly these don't dissolve so fast so what I found was a lot of them ended up kind of sp like getting almost wedged between the washing machine door and the seal because <coughs> like if that happens with the wash whiffs, as the water runs over it, it just dissolves it. These didn't dissolve so quickly, which meant they, I don't know. For my Samsung washing machine, I ended up using them by putting them into a little organza bag, um, just to keep them in with the washing and in the water. So as nice as they were, I'm not sure I would buy these again just because with my machine they don't seem to work that well but that said I also tried the Fabulosa Rainbow Drops so again this is in wash fragrance boosters similar sort of thing to Sensi Wash Whiffs but these are I believe if I can see um, it doesn't list all the ingredients but they kind of had the same consistency as washer whiffs so I think they are <clears throat> it doesn't say but I do think they are salt based yeah I'm just reading it just says amongst it other ingredients perfume lin and linalool so yeah I do think these are salt based because like wash whiffs they dissolve really really quickly so that's those then I'll move on to the non, oh, I was going to say non sensor wax, but some of these are fair bits of non sensor wax. So I will call it candles because that is what they are. Um, and actually, I will just rummage through as I go. So I finished off my Homeworks Sunset Waves. So this was a three wick candle, burnt really, really well, very little residue. So this has scent notes of sea mist, mandarin, prosecco and nectarine blossom and it was a really really nice almost summery scent. I think it was from one of the summer collections, I mean it's called Sunset Waves. So yeah it was that one. Then I finished off my Yankee Candle pistachio, crunchy pistachio vanilla. So this did kind of go a bit funny a few times burnt pretty much right down to the bottom though really nice scent but as you can see it had really discolored which was one of the reasons why I was like let's just use that so it was that one gone then I used up my Madame Jojo and this was from Mr Rose Luxury Aromas this was one that I had about two years ago in an Iggy box uh, subscription and it was a really nice one I think there's like ginger and lemongrass 
it's definitely lemongrass I can smell in that and then sticking to lemongrass I used up my lemongrass and ginger from Callan Candles now I have had this three years um, and that could be one of the reasons why it didn't burn that well um, I've never had a problem with Callan Candles candles in the past so I do think it was maybe just one of those things but I had scooped some of the wax out and warmed it but I'm not going to bother with the rest of that just because I've got so many wax melts here to get through so then staying with candles I used up my Yankee Candle Glittering Star and this burnt pretty well um, I was disappointed with the amount of wax that was left at the bottom as as you can see there's probably a good inch um, it's kind of to there um, yeah about there because there is a ring of unmelted wax in there as well really nice I wouldn't have said it was a wintry scent but it is quite a decadent scent so did really enjoy that one then I finished off my Nicola Candela French Lavender and Black Amber candle so this was a two wick candle and as you can see it did burn right to the very bottom and yeah so there was that one done then this one wasn't actually well it was a candle it was the inhale candle from I can't remember but I know I did kind of go over it in a previous video where the cat jumped up knocked a bunch of candles over this one smashed and so I kind of trimmed it down because it was in a larger vessel popped some of it in here and then I did warm some of the rest of it or what the rest of it that didn't fit in here I should say but that was a really nice one then I don't have many candles left I don't think so then this was a limoncello from Candleman Candle and I love these I really do love Candleman Candles because the jars are easy to wash out and reuse and they make great things I use a lot of crushed black pepper so I tend to buy bags of crushed black pepper and keep in one of these so for like large amounts of herbs and spices they're brilliant then I finished off a small Yankee candle in sun and sand and this is a really nice scent this one burnt really well right to the very bottom so finish that one off then we do have some more candles in here so then I used up a votive of Mountain Lodge from Yankee Candle and that's one I've had here pretty much forever then I did do <coughs> some tea lights um, but I'll come on to those last so then I also went through a votive of Yankee's candlelit cabin which was really nice slightly smoky woodsy scent and lastly of the Yankee votives I used up an unwrap the magic so this was quite a Christmassy one really nice then <clears throat> yeah so this is the last votive candle and this is one I've had for donkey years so I bought this in my when I was in my second flat so I bought I bought or well, the first place I bought was in 2010 so it's prior to that so got to be at least 13 14 years old and still smells great so this was absinthe from dark candles and dark candles motto is light for those who prefer the dark and they have some really dark twist kind of twisted scent so there's um, absinthe there's crypt moss there's graveyard there's nosferatu there's lilith dragon's blood there's a whole host of like really funky scents really like them then that's the votives and then three of the individual tea lights um, I warmed 
warmed, burnt, was Orange and Stars, which is basically orange and star anise from Kringle Candle, which is a really nice autumnal warming scent. Then we have Home for Christmas, which is like a spiced, it has a picture of poinsettia, but it's quite spicy. Really nice, that one. And then lastly, we have White Pumpkin, which this is like a nice creamy, sweet, slightly sweet pumpkin scent. So there was that. And then lastly, before I come on to wax melts, I used or started a Jammy Time scent pack. So there's that one gone into my Spirit the Sea Otter. Then I will start with the non scenty waxes because there's not a huge amount of them, but there's a couple. Yeah, so I finished off my bar of Sensationals True North. And this one is really nice. Love this one. So is that one finally used up? Then a scent from number three, Lemon and Lavender. And this is very similar to the Yankee Candle Lemon Lavender. Really, really like that. I finished off the packet of Callan Candles Black Coconut Wax Melt. So, yep, they are gone. <clears throat> I also finished off my box of Callan Candles Cedar and Jasmine, which I've had since January 2021. So I did say that I am trying to use my old stuff and I am slowly getting through my older stuff. Then I finished off my bar of Dark Opium from Waxify Candles. And this is a really nice, um, I think it's very similar. It's not similar to Opium, the perfume, but it does kind of have a slightly sweet, creamy, spicy scent to it. Really, really nice one. Do really like that. Then on to the Scentsy Waxes. So finished off a few clamshells. So went finished off my Clementine Blossom. So this is Golden Citrus Surprises Pink Nectar with a Sugar Blossom Treat. And it wasn't, wasn't my favourite on its own. I know I did mix it. So that's that one gone. I also finished off my Iridescent. So this is a sparkling mix of natural elements from cedar wood and citrus to peony and apple blossom. Blends Disney themes with an added touch of wonder. Now this one did kind of yo-yo in and out of my club. I did only have one bar. I kind of regret not getting a second bar, but that it's done. It's done and dusted. It's, I don't think it's available any longer in the UK, but that's fine. I have plenty of other waxes. Finished off Bora Bora Blossom. So this is Get Lost in a Balmy Combination of Succulent Island Fruits and Lush Orchid Balanced with a Kiss of Fresh Green Violet Leaf. And that was a nice one. And then Moana Spirit Motunui. So this is Watery Melon, Pineapple and Plumeria depict a lush island paradise rich with tradition. And you do get watermelon from this. Well, I do. And that is a nice one. I do have a couple of bars of it. If it comes back, I would potentially add it to the club for a couple of rounds to grab a few more bars. Or I might just grab like a multi-pack and get some more that way. So then lastly, as I've said before, I have been trying to use up some of my tester pots. So I have managed to use up a bunch of tester pots. So first up is Camu Camu. So this is Tropical Oasis of Lush Mandarin, Camu Camu um, Passion Fruit. And this was a really nice scent. I do believe we are getting Camu Camu in June as part of the Bring Back My Bar. So that think might go into club. I did have a bar of it from Melissa Johnson Haight, which I have, I don't think I've started it. Don't know, but I do think that's one that is potentially club worthy, certainly for a few bars. Then I finished up my test part of Coastal Sunset. So this is Creamy Coconut and Sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber. And it is 
there's definite amber in it. It's a really nice, sweet, creamy scent. So then I also finished up my test pot of cherry limeade. So this is zesty key lime, sweet cherry and juicy berry, a delicious scent reminiscent of a soda fountain drink. And this one actually reminds me, or it's very similar to me, of um, Cars Radiator Springs. So there was that one, <clears throat> used up my summer holiday. So this is steal away to a sunny isle bursting with lush plumeria, tiger lily and sweet orange softened by vanilla. Nice. Then we have sun-kissed citrus. So this is lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes and grapefruit. And I've, so I'll take this one shut, but it is a nice citrusy scent. Then I used up two test pots of strawberry rose which is a sweet blend of mouth-watering strawberries and soft rose petals with a touch of sheer musk. And this was a nice one. It reminded me slightly of like strawberry milkshake. Is it strawberry? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of has the smell of Nesquik milkshake powder. It's really nice. Then I used a, a broken test pot of By the Sea. So this is the scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. Not a fan. It's it's okay, it's quite nice. I'm just not overly keen on scents with dewy greens in the description. And then lastly, I used up my test pot of apple cherry strudel. So this is Granny Smith apple cherry and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. And that's a really nice, if you like, like cherry bakery scent that is a really really nice one and that's my month end empties for April so I know we are now pretty much well into May well well into May 9th of May so yeah relatively um, weak a bit in but still I've finally managed to get it done having been away for a couple of weekends and having been absolutely rammed with decorating and other stuff going on. So um, yeah, that's the end of my month end empties. Um, join me tomorrow for my What I've Warmed Wednesday. And I, I do have my Scentsy Club delivery due today or tomorrow. So I will get that recorded um, when it comes. And speaking of Scentsy Clubs, oh, I do love Fluffy Fleece. Yeah, so this one, it's not huge. Um, I'm trying to keep my Scentsy Club to a minimum where possible. There are a few bars in there which I think at least one of them can now come out. Three of them were ones that I wanted to try. One was from the Easter Collection, didn't want the entire Easter Collection. And two were or are from the Father's Day Collection which haven't yet launched but because they have launched in other areas of Region 2, it was available to add to Scentsy Club. So I did that just because I wasn't sure if I would be placing an order um, anytime soon. So yeah, that's that. And um, until tomorrow, I will... Well, no, yeah. Um, until tomorrow, when you join me again, look after yourselves, have a great evening, and I will catch you then. Bye.